Welcome to the E-Class Skylight installation video. The first thing you want to do is just check the box contents, make sure everything's in there. The great thing about Wasco's E-Class Skylights is everything's in one box. No mastics, no step flash, and no sealants. And screws and anchor brackets are the only hardware. When you're ready to go, confirm that the rough opening is correct for the model, size, and orientation of the skylight. So you want to shingle up to the bottom edge of the rough opening, and then cut out and trim back any portion of the shingle two inches from the edge of the rough opening. Now remove the skylight from the packaging and inspect to make sure that's the correct size and type for your installation. Locate the supplied hardware kit and then remove the anchor brackets. Now insert the brackets into the slots below the flexible flange. One note. You're looking at the uh, unit upside down, so the anchor brackets are actually on the underside of the flexible flange, even though it appears that it's on top. Now set the unit over the rough opening and visually line up the inside of the skylight frame against the light well opening. The flange on the downward slope side of the skylight goes over the shingles below. Lift the Ultra Seal flashing flange out of the way to apply the screws supplied in the hardware kit, securing the anchor brackets to the roof deck. Next, smooth the four corners out and secure with a roofing nail or similar fastener to help hold the flange in proper position. Next thing you want to do is apply shingles going up both sides of the unit, placing the trimmed edge under the L-shaped primary diverter. When nailing your shingles up the sides, it's okay to nail right into the flexible flange. At the top side of the unit, place one shingle inverted across the entire width of the skylight before proceeding with your shingles. It must be placed on top of the L-shaped primary diverter to cover any seams, tap slots, or edges that may allow water to get onto the roof deck surface. This inverted shingle step is very important. The top shingle also gets a special trim slot detail where the shingle wraps around and down the side to transition water flow from the top to the sides of the skylight. And then just finish applying shingles as needed. Now you're almost done. What you want to do is just put a nail every six inches along the bottom flange. If you want, you can use dark finished nails to conceal the fasteners. And don't forget to remove the stickers. It's a lot easier to do it while you're up there. 